In exercise number four, we're going to learn how to create the vertical alignment using the geometry tools. So some of the things we're going to learn here, we're going to learn how to define a profile model view. We're going to learn how to create the individual vertical geometric elements. We're going to create tangent lines and vertical curves. And we're going to combine those individual elements together to form a complex element to create the vertical alignment. And then we're going to take a look at creating the vertical alignment report. One of the first things we need to do before we create our vertical geometry is we need to define a profile model view. Profile model view is always required in order to place geometric elements. It's also required if you want to see the existing ground profile. If you recall in the previous exercise, we attached the existing ground terrain or existing terrain model to our DGN file, but we didn't really look at the existing ground profile. I'd like to show you now how to define a profile model view so we can display not only the existing ground profile but also use it to create our vertical geometry. Okay, let's define the profile model view or create the profile model view. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go up to the element selection tool, make sure that is active, and then we need to select our horizontal alignment. So I'm going to select our London Road alignment here. And we're going to hover the cursor over the alignment for a few seconds until the context menu comes up. And you'll notice the icon here, Open Profile Model. So we want to left click on that. And the next thing that's going to happen is uh, the heads up prompt is going to be asking you to select or open a view. So for this example, I'm going to open up view number four. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom of the screen, press view number four button. When I do that, the profile model view will open. Notice we have the existing ground profile is displayed in the profile model view and that is being read directly from the existing terrain model that we attached to our DGN file. I want to point out that the profile model view is a special view specifically designed to work with vertical geometry. So anytime you're doing any type of vertical geometry or if you need to display the existing ground profile along a geometric element you need to define a profile model view. Notice inside the profile model view we have the stationing along the bottom and on the side we have the elevations. Another thing we can do is we can vary the exaggeration. By default the vertical exaggeration is set for 10. If we want to set that to something else like say 20 for example we can go up here to the view attributes and select a different exaggeration and change the exaggeration of the profile. So I'm going to fit the view, press the fit view button here, and you can see this is the existing ground profile from our existing terrain model that we attached to our DGN file. Another thing that we can do is if we want to make this the active profile or the active vertical alignment associated to our horizontal alignment for London Road, we can select it hover our cursor over it for a few seconds and go to the set as active profile tool and that will make that the active profile that's associated to horizontal alignment. If you found this video helpful please give it a like. If you want to see more such series consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.